set up in 2007, there's a McDonald Foundation in memory of my late mother who died in 1991 of cancer and I was, I was giving, through my own channel of the foundation, gifts away to this, that and everywhere and wasn't quite getting to the crux of what the charity was meant to be and I, I wanted to put something in bricks and mortar to say, right, there you are, use this facility and we got in touch with the Maggie's centres who do a great job in, in, uh, in that aftercare in that, in that emotional and practical support that, that patients and families need. I went to visit a couple of them and was taken wholly in by the whole, the whole scene of, of, of the support that they give and uh, wanted to put something back. So we are now building centres, one in Lanarkshire that's uh, beginning to start building in September. It'll take a year to build, so it'll open in September 2012. And another one that I'm going up to today, actually, uh, to Aberdeen to start to, to follow the fundraising efforts up there as well. So we're, uh, we'll all go to build these two centres and it'll be a great, uh, a great day, a very, a very uh, good day for those who suffer with cancer when these centres are, are finally open. I don't think this would have been possible without the SGU's support. Uh, to be able to get in touch with those 580 clubs and uh, f for them all to, to have the opportunity to participate is because of the SGU. So I thank them now for their support. Without them, as I said, this wouldn't have happened. But becoming the first charitable organization that, that is uh, affiliated with them is a great honor for us. The average club golfer can get involved by entering a monthly medal. There's 580 clubs in the SGU, the SGU and myself and the Montgomery, the Liz Montgomery Foundation have got together and formed a partnership whereby you can enter a competition, three pounds, for your monthly medal, which in July, over the Open Championship weekend, the top 80 net Stableford winners will join me in a day at the Carrick Club at Loch Lomond in September and we're going to have some fun doing that, the Ryder Cup will be with us and the pictures and what have you, so we'll have, we'll have great fun there. So that's how, that's how the clubs can, can, uh, can help in one way. Another way is that there's three categories of golf clubs, one from one to 250 members, and then another one from 250, one to 400 members, and another one from 400 plus. So there's three categories to give an even keel. And for those, they can, they can generate monies however they would li like to do. And uh, for those three winners, they will have a day with me. I will go to the golf club that have raised the most money and I'll bring the Ryder Cup with me so we can have junior clinics, we can have senior clinics, we can have question and answers about the Ryder Cup or about my life or whatever the case may be and we'll have fun at these particular days as well. So that's how the, that's how the clubs can generate uh, the fundraising within this year. And it was fun as an amateur. You don't, you don't, you don't tend to realise how much fun it was to play golf. And I think it's very important that speaking to the SGU members and all the members of the golf clubs in Scotland, the thousands of members, that remember it is fun. Okay, it, it became a business for me and a job, but it was fun as an amateur. And uh, you, you, sometimes you tend to forget that, that uh, hit a bad shot. You think, oh dear, you know, what, what's that all about? But it is fun because it's a hobby and you choose to do one's hobby. You can, you can fish, you can sail, you can swim, whatever the case may be, and play, play football, but golf is, is part of that. It's a hobby and uh, enjoyment. As long as you enjoy what you do, you, you're usually quite good at it. So enjoyment is number one, I would say, for, for any amateur, amateur player. Much better now. You know, they have these w warm weather training centers uh, uh, down in Dubai and also South Africa that wasn't available in my day. I had to go to America, which, which I, had to, I had to do that to, to perform within the winter. Nowadays, you know, these, these warm, warm weather training, they call it for eight weeks, nine weeks down in South Africa. Fantastic. The sponsorship that Aberdeen Asset have given them is, is a superb. Uh, the help the SGU gave them. Uh, so it's a it's very different uh, uh, world that we live in. The amateur, the so-called amateur, isn't as amateur as he used to be. I was an amateur golfer. These guys now are almost semi-pro already, uh, and it's a big difference. But it, uh, but it helps them when they do turn, if they do turn professional, that they're almost into the system already. They understand living away from home. They understand the budgetary requirements of doing that. Hotel rooms, on the road, life on the road, and that's what it is. Uh, as a tournament pro, so it gives them a great start.